begin the book with uh, Marie Curie, you know, the first woman who really, as a scientist, wins the Nobel uh, Prize. Please tell us why you start here and what the significance of her story is. You know, it's funny. The reason she's the first hero in the book, uh, I started by saying I wanted a woman. It had to be a woman, of course, right? It's heroes for my daughter. I started with a woman. I have men in here. There are men, there's Christopher Reeves in the book, Abraham Lincoln's in the book, Gandhi's in the book. Heroes for my daughter must open with a woman, right? This was all the symbolism of it was to me why we picked her. And I had heroes like Audrey Hepburn, who I love. I think is great and a great model, but I didn't want to start with someone who was known for her looks and her beauty. I wanted my daughter to have someone who was focused clearly on her brain. So I actually, the reason she got picked is the two heroes that were going to be the first ones in the book was Sally Ride mm -hmm. and Marie Curie. And it was my daughter who picked it. Oh. And I told her the stories. I said, here's Sally Ride. Here's America's first female astronaut in space. She had to see an opportunity. She had to seize it. Here's her story. And she did what no woman had ever done before. And then I told her the story of Marie Curie. And I said, Marie Curie, when she won her first Nobel Prize, she could have stopped. When her husband died, she could have stopped. When they said, you don't need to teach anymore, she could have stopped. When she won her second Nobel Prize, she could have stopped. And even when she was dying from cancer, from the radiation that she was researching, her own research killing her day by day, she still never stopped. She could have stopped at any point, and she never, ever, ever stopped. And we all benefit for that to this day, right? Our protocols are still used in treating cancer today. And I told my daughter that story, and both stories, and she said, I like that woman who didn't stop. <laughs> and that's why Marie Curie became the first hero and heroes for my daughter. And she wouldn't take from the government her husband's pension. She earned I her love own that. way. I love that. Yeah, I have great point you made. I know. Right. I love that detail. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.